What's the number one biggest mistake business owners make when it comes to marketing? I mean, well, they make a lot of mistakes, right? But like, I'd say probably the, the biggest mistake that I see is, is actually... How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody's doing good? Great. All right. My name is Stephen Blackburn. I am the co-founder of a marketing mentorship company uh, called Rich From Anywhere, We're digital marketing. So basically, we teach business owners, online entrepreneurs, how to actually market themselves properly uh, through Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, email marketing, text marketing, these types of things. We've been doing this now for about nine or 10 years, something like that. And we've, we've literally worked with thousands of businesses all across about 17 or 18 different countries right now. So it's been, it's been a blessing. It's been a ride. We started as um, actually struggling music artists. And the only reason we even got into marketing at all was uh, we, got a, we started an e-commerce business. The only reason we even started it all because we were just struggling to make money with our, with our music. So we started this e-commerce business to fund our music career. And then we did it, ended up making about a quarter million in sales in about seven months. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, I'm pretty good at this. So like, so we basically just kind of kept going from there. And, um, and here we are, man. What's the number one biggest mistake business owners make when it comes to marketing? So... I mean, well, they make a lot of mistakes, right? But like, I'd say probably the, the biggest mistake that I see is, is actually they're not marketing at all, right? Like they're hardly marketing at, like there's their, it's their lack of marketing, right? Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because like us as business owners will spend so much time and energy like building our website, making it pretty, like, you know, priming our mindset and getting our energy right. And we have all these amazing intentions. And then when it comes down to marketing, it's like, it's crickets. Like, we don't market at all, right? Can anybody relate to that? It's like, I hardly want to market. Does anybody in here, like, have any struggles with marketing themselves? Like, raise your hand if you have struggles with marketing at all. Okay. A lot of hands in here, right? It's, it's so common, you know? So that, like, the, the biggest thing is, like, you have to market yourself, right? Because I don't care. You can have the most beautiful website, the most amazing services, the most amazing intentions in the world, but if nobody knows who you are, it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. right? So you got to get your stuff out there, man. So that's obviously one of the biggest things. But I'd say another thing that I see a lot is actually like lack of automations and lack, lack of systems in their business, right? Mm -hmm. Like they'll go out and they'll do all these deals or they'll, they'll do all this marketing and stuff, but they have no systems in the background to like help them uh, like run the business, right? And that's when you start feeling like a chicken with your head cut off and you're like <laughs> doing a bunch of manual stuff and yeah. you're like, your, your hair's falling out, you're stressed out and you're like, oh my God, I hate business. This is terrible. That's a, that's a very clear indication that you're just, you're doing it wrong. You're not putting enough automation behind it. Absolutely. Um, how can I grow my business if I don't have a big team? I know you're a pro. At yeah. Well, well, the biggest thing we like to say in our in our company is you know we always want to automate before you delegate that's what we say right because we we find that a lot of people they go off and they hire employees like in my opinion this is just my opinion but they hire employees way too early right they're going off and hiring all these people and they haven't even taken advantage of automation yet mm -hmm. right there's so many things that you can do inside of your business that can completely re replace humans Mm -hmm. Right. So what we like to do is like, OK, automate before you delegate. You should write that down. Right. So find all the things. What, what are all the things that I can actually have a system do for me and make sure that you're completely tapping that out. And then once you've done that, then find the humans to basically plug in all the holes, like the things that, that automation can't do. Right. Mm -hmm. So so if you don't have a big team, that's OK. Like, honestly, we don't have a very big team either. But we're able to be very streamlined and efficient because we have all these automations set up in our business that's helping things streamline, which is how you scale. You can't mm -hmm. scale without it, you know? So you're pretty much talking about like a CRM. 100%. Yeah. So that's what Jonathan, who heard Jonathan earlier talking about a CRM, right? Yeah. The importance of it. Oh, how many, so important. How many of you have a CRM system? Okay. How many of you don't? Yeah. How many of you would like to have one? Yeah, okay. You, yeah, you need it. You need it. And and how many of you guys are like using multiple multiple softwares and kind of like stringing them together? Like, put your hands up. Put, put your hands up high if you guys are like using more than three or four softwares. And they're expensive. Oh, they get real expensive, right? But that's not even the issue. The issue is now you have like five, six, seven different softwares. You have all these different tabs. You got different lingos you're trying to learn, and it's just a nightmare, right? So we actually have our own software, and it's like basically all in one place. So you so kind of imagine going into one dashboard. 
and literally all of your email marketing is there, all your text marketing is there, your calendar systems are there, your funnels are there, your conversations, your contacts are there, all in one place, right? Could you guys imagine that? Mm -hmm. Just having everything in one place now, you don't have to jump back and forth between 10 different dashboards, um, which is a nightmare, like I said, and it, and it really just intimidates you and it just makes you not even want to market your business at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and when you don't want to market your business, you don't market your business. And then if you don't market your business, you don't make any money. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, I don't want to do it. I'm going to go back and work at Walmart or Chick-fil-A. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and I don't then, know about that. So, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, but yes, it's all about just making things easy and simplified, you know? So what are uh, some must-have systems and automations? Um, well, so it, it really depends on the, the company, obviously, and what you, what you do. I know this is a real estate event. So um, for you guys, I would most definitely, some must-have systems that you're going to need is you need a strong calendar system, 100%, right? You need, like if you're booking appointments with people, you, you need a strong calendar system that can actually like make it streamlined to book appointments and have meetings, right? You, you don't want to be on the phone or even at these events right now like, hey, let's meet Tuesday. Okay, cool. What time's good for you? I'm a good at 2.30. I'm good at 3.30. Like, no, you don't do any of that, right? You send them a link and say, hey, here's my link. Book a call with a, a date and time that works for you and let's chat, right? So having a good streamlined calendar system um, that also will send reminders out to people too because you'll find a lot of times people will book meetings with you or calendar meetings with you um, or appointments with you, and then they completely forget, and then they don't show up, and now you're wasting your time. So you want to make sure that you have like text message reminders and email reminders being sent to your clients so they show up, mm -hmm. right? Because if they don't show up, you can't do any business, right? So, so definitely have a, a calendar system. I would say um, definitely some email marketing sequences, mm -hmm. right? Which I'm, I'm really ex ex pumped to hear uh, your presentation is too, man, because like... People come in and they might sign up for one of your services, but you want to pull them into like an email sequence, right? So people come in and they're not just getting a confirmation email. No, like two days later, they're getting another email with like some case studies of things that you've done or like, an, and then two days later, they're getting another email with some testimonials or some value. So imagine having that set up where people come into your system and they're getting emails for like three months for you. Mm -hmm. And once you set this stuff up, it's completely automated. It's like you set it and forget it. So now imagine the journey of a, of a client. If they sign up for one of your email sequence and they're just getting all of this content just pumped into your email, into your text message for like three months. Mm -hmm. By the time you speak with those people, you're going to be like a rock star, right? You're going to get on the phone with them and they're going to be so pumped to talk to you because they've just been getting all this email, all this content. And meanwhile, it was completely automated. Like, you didn't even know it was even happening. You were over there making more deals and doing more stuff. And again, that's how you kind of, that's how you level it up. Yeah. I was just telling Steven earlier, I was like, I want to set up an, an email campaign of like 30 emails. He's like, uh, 30 emails for every single day. He's like, I did that for six months, <laughs> you know? So yeah. take a day where you just sit down, yeah. you just write down a whole bunch of content where you just add so much value to, to, to your customer, to your friends, to your clients, that by the time they need something that you're going to be the first person that they think about. Yes. Yes. Can you guys imagine like having that system set up like in your business where if someone signed up to your email list or, or scheduled a call to talk with you, they were going to hear from you for six months automated. You know how much that would change the game. I don't care what you guys do. Real estate, if you're chiropractors, like I've worked with like 11 or 12 different industries. It doesn't really matter. Right. Because at the end of the day, um, business is just solving problems, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's all really business is, and we all have a, a solution to a problem. Um, so this stuff that we're talking about can work for, for literally anyone in here. Yeah, and I was just doing the numbers in my head really quick. Like if you were to get rid of ClickFunnels, MailChimp, Textedly, um, all these other platforms that you use to stay in touch with your customers, you'd probably be saving easily $1,000 a month. Oh, easy. Yeah. You know, that's $12,000 a year. Right. That could be a so, down payment for a house or something like 100%, that. hundred you percent. Know? And that's just the financial savings behind it. You know? But what I really like to tap into is the energy savings, right? Because mm -hmm. when you have the, the click funnels and the Calendly and the Textedly and the Clavio and the da 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 it just goes on forever. <laughs> and, then it, and then a lot of those systems don't really talk to each other. So you have to have a, like a talk to each other app like called Zapier, right? So now you got to plug in Zapier and make everything. So that's another software you got to pay for. Mm -hmm. Right. And then people wonder why they're like, again, pulling their hair out with, with softwares and it creates so much tension 
yeah. when it doesn't have to be like that, you know? Yeah. Didn't you say you wanted to do something with the audience or something like that, an automated message? Or yeah, or? yeah. If you wanted, like, I can actually show you guys like a kind of a a, a unique kind of strategy to collect leads. How, how, raise your hand if y'all want to see like a a kind of a unique strategy right now to collect leads and make more sales. Is that cool? All right, cool. Let's let's make this a little interactive, right? So all y'all, if you don't mind, if you have your phones with you, uh, pull out your phones right now. All right, and everybody, go to Instagram right now. And how many, how many of you guys right now have ever heard of Instagram DM automation? Raise your hand if you've heard of DM automation on Instagram. Not too many hands. I'm telling you, this is next level, dude. It's next level if you implement this. And I've been looking at this. I've been looking for people who are doing this, and, and there's not really a whole lot of people doing it. So if you guys implement this one strategy, you're going you're gonna, to like, really elevate your business. Anyway, go to Instagram and find our Instagram page. It's called Rich From Anywhere. R-I-C-H From Anywhere. All right, because that's what digital marketing will allow you to be rich from anywhere. Let's go. <laughs> so so when you get there, do me a favor. Hit that follow one time if y'all don't mind. Uh, and then outside of that, go ahead and message us. <laughs> go ahead and message us the, the letters RFA. OK, RFA, RFA, rich from anywhere, just all together, three letters. And when y'all do that, let me see if, if y'all are following the instructions right now. I'm going to look live. <laughs> They're following. Okay, so what I want y'all to do is basically notice what's happening, okay? I want y'all to notice what's happening on Instagram, okay? And I want you to think about it as you're going through it, how this could apply to your business, right? What we're doing is we're allowing people to actually, let me go ahead and put this, it's going to distract me. <laughs> <laughs> What we're allowing you to do is you can actually plug in a keyword, right? So if somebody messages you on Instagram, a keyword, and you can make this keyword anything you want. It can be any word you want. When they message uh, this keyword, we now have Instagram working for us, sending back uh, messages, collecting information, right? We can collect emails from you. We can collect text messages, and then we can send the text messages out. Has anybody gotten like an email or a text message from us yet? Have y'all went through the whole thing? It's working, right? Have I done anything? No. Nope. I'm just sitting right here. <laughs> I'm just hanging out, just sitting here talking to you guys, and my system is sitting here collecting all this data as we speak. Is that some powerful stuff or what? Yes. Is that pretty cool? Yes. So, so that's something, and by the way, when you're sending off like Instagram DMs and all these messages, that's completely free, right? Like it's free to send Instagram DMs. You can do this like, and, and it's so cool when you start to apply this stuff because now imagine, again, I want y'all to think about this for your business though, okay? Think about it for your business. You can literally uh, put this system together and you can go on your Instagram bio and you can put it in your bio, say, hey, message me the word listing. Start getting creative with it, right? And yeah. now people see that and they're like, oh, okay, cool. And they go and message it. And then, and then Instagram is just shooting off all these messages, collecting phone numbers, emails. Because I'm telling you guys right now, I don't know if you guys understand this or not, but growing your email list and your phone list is probably one of the most important things that you guys can be doing. Mm -hmm. Who is currently building their list, the email list and phone list right now? If you guys are not building your email list and phone list, you are sleeping really hard. You're in a deep sleep, a deep sleep. And for a couple reasons. First of all, I know you guys are out here on social media, you know, building your Facebook followings and your Instagram followings and your TikTok and all this stuff. And that's great, right? But, but I want to ask you all this question. What happens if Facebook just decides to shut you down one day? What happens if TikTok bans you? What happens if Instagram gets hacked, mm -hmm. right? It happens all the time. If that happens, how are you going to reach your customers? You have no way to do it. But if you have a tangible list of emails, phone numbers, names, right? You can just hit your list up and say, hey, guys, Facebook shut me down yesterday. I know it sucks, but it's cool because I'm over here now. And now all your, your customers and your leads can, can move with you, right? I hope that makes sense. You know, because it's almost like security for your business. And if you if you are not building your list, you're like a sitting duck, man. You're too vulnerable, you know. So so that's one reason. And then the other reason is just because and I'm sure you're going to get into this too. email and text marketing is just such a powerful thing. If you guys aren't doing it again, you're in a super deep sleep, man, because there's just so much money to be made when it comes to email marketing and text marketing. So y'all should be definitely building your list right now. Awesome. Give it up for Steven.
On Tuesday, I got on a phone call with him and he set this up for me and I was able to get 300 emails just from what he did for me on Tuesday. 300, okay? How long That's did it, powerful. How long did it take you to collect those though? Uh, it was a couple days. That's it. Just a couple days. So, but anyways, thank you so much for your help. Got you, I got you. We're just awesome. getting started though. <laughs>